Good morning, Scott. Here we are at 815 Roger Drive. Just wanted to go ahead and uh, show you real quick. So we'll walk on in. As you come in, you see you have uh, the living room off to the right. This looks like it possibly could be LVT. I'll double check it. It might be a lin linoleum. Uh, I see in the closet they didn't finish it up in there. Right now they're in the process of moving out. So we have the dining room over to the left and then the kitchen over here as well. I'll take you through the bedrooms first and work our way back to the kitchen. So here we have the first bedroom. Has a ceiling fan in it. I mean, overall, um, the, the whole place could probably use a new painting. Uh, it looks like they just installed some new flooring. Everything feels pretty solid overall, but we'll let the inspector handle anything underneath the house, of course. Uh, but I don't feel any real soft spots. So here's the closet. Now, as soon as we get done with the video, I will go ahead and measure it and, uh, you know, send you a picture of kind of what the, a close floor plan, just to give you a better idea. Across we have uh, the closet, and like I was telling you, they, they didn't go into the closet. They just have carpet in here, so we can kind of inspect it. It doesn't look to be an LVP. It looks to be some kind of linoleum, so uh, not water resistant or waterproof, but still looks to be finished up. Here we go into one of the, the bathrooms. The, we have the old uh, cultured marble kind of look, um, frameless mirror. And we have vinyl flooring. But it does need some sheetrock work and some paint overall, but not horrible. I'll try to address all those issues in the video. See right here, it looks like they had a towel holder that is no longer there. The vanity looks like it's a little chewed up on the corner from the dogs. Um, that's a little bit worrisome that they have that bowl underneath it. No water in it, but I would imagine that there's probably a leak just based off of why else would you have a bowl directly underneath the, the P-trap. So something to keep in consideration. These are based, both fake um, drawers. Neither one of them are actual drawers. This is what I would consider the master. We have the washer and dryer in the master and it has the vinyl floor where they, they uh, stop the, uh, the linoleum floor and they have a transition strip so that's good unlike the other room i don't think the gun comes with it but uh, we have access to the attic right here but like i said just uh in general uh just needs paint for sure and I'm a, like I said, I'll go ahead and double check the uh, the measurements as well as soon as I got the phone with you. Walk-in closet, decent room inside of here. And we will go ahead and double check the the kitchen. Kind of see the kitchen from here. Vinyl floorings as well. Older appliances. Uh, and just paint, 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 a little bit of sheet rock work, no major holes, just little holes. Uh, they got a million holes right here. And then a little patch that they started to do. You see a lot pretty packed up. So uh, the other buyer's agents here, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk out and walk around the unit and let them go ahead and check it out. How you doing? You can go ahead inside as soon as your client's here. See, it is on a crawl space. It has a cinder block uh, um, skirting with a kind of textured. I'll show you the, the texture. Here's the access panel. Let's see, it's screwed in. Um, something that I think that the inspector would definitely want to get in and kind of take a look underneath to make sure there's no issues with uh, moisture. Um, it, it needs a good little pressure washing around the rim. The vinyl siding looks pretty good. Uh, they're missing just a small piece up there. HVAC system seems to be a little bit older. It is a R410A. So uh, I would imagine it's no more than about seven or eight years old. Let me take a quick look. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I can find out for you. I'll 
come back and take a picture of that as well. Give you a better idea of the HVAC system. Oh, there we go. Hold on. There we go. Back to being focused. Very small lots overall. Very, very tight. Come down the side. I see you right here at the neighbor's house. Is, they're, they're very close together. So I would imagine that's the neighbor's driveway. And this would be the side that you could park on. I'm gonna step back, see if we can kind of take a quick look at the roof real quick. I'm not sure if the sales property disclosure is filled out or not. So let's take a look. Roof to, appears to be halfway decent, possibly some uh, shingles that are kind of coming loose. Uh, can only see it from so far back. Basically, we've got a little front porch on it. And here's the side again. I hope this video helps. Let me see if I, with the light, if we can kind of see a little bit better. So you can see right there, one of the shingles is it's still there, but it's a different color. I'm not sure if it's a patch job or what, but there's a couple little areas like that. So uh, let me get the measurements. I'll, I'll draw it out for you and uh, send it over to you soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.